आई एम डॉक्टर सुरजित घोष वेलकम टू माई चैनल डॉक्टर घोष प्रेजेंट टिश्यू सॉल्ट थेरेपी पार्ट ट्वेंटी फोर कैलेम्यूर फोर कैलेम्यूर फॉर प्रॉब्लम ऑफ बैक एंड एक्सट्रीमिटीज शोलिंग ऑफ लेग्स एंकल्स एंड फीट पेनलेस वेरी इची hip joint disease when swelling has started but no pass form that is second stage of inflammation chronic rheumatism pain worse at night from movement from warmth of bed lightning like pain from smaller back to feet must get to sit ulcers wounds burns scales of extremities what from fibrinous exuded comes out corns and bunions use calamur externally and internally actually wherever possible biochemical tissue uh, medicines can be used both in internally and externally wherever possible in case of on this application of skin application of wounds application of burns scars etc now the images please note this is the image of um see this this image chronic edema that is edema means swelling of legs that's hip joint disease the hip joint is getting and destroyed gradually start one to the step by step a smaller back now this is a smaller back is a technical term mind it it is actually the lumbar region smaller back lumbar region in our spinal uh, the spine spine bone from neck to uh, almost end of the um, hip there is a spine bone you know the spine bone has got three curves cervical curve thoracic curve and lumbar curve the lumbar area area is called the small back because that is a very important point in from point of view of medical science this is wounds with exudates and where calamur required white is fibrinous discharge etc there and corns and bunions for another things is very very useful calamur Calamy for problems of nervous system. Chief remedy for epilepsy, especially if white is coated tongue with a central furrow. This white coated tongue with central furrow is the characteristic tongue of calamy. And eyes look protruded. This is the eyes. The eyes looks protruded. Tongue, characteristic tongue of calamy. and this is and these are these symptoms are also available in macfoss epilepsy with any skin disease or after suppression of skin disease calamur is a specific tabis dorsalis tabis dorsalis actually is a third stage symptom of symptom of uh, syphilis or neurosyphilis pain symptoms are like this lightning pain staggering gait muscles weaken vision weakens bladder rectum leak diabetic faces this is diabetic faces diabetes actually the destruction of the neuro uh, neurotic um, uh, cells in the spinal column spinal column is formed with nerve cells that cells probably the um, uh, back portion is destroyed the infection of uh, that uh, neurosyphilis or other syphilis advanced stage of syphilis now tabetic tabetic faces what is tabetic faces this is tabetic faces they look this the eyes are slightly drooped and the whole face is flabby this is tabetic faces and these all these are symptoms of neurosyphilis it is written here all these symptoms of neurosyphilis symptoms that is advanced stage symptoms of syphilis calamur if it can be given at the starting of the disease then it will be arrested this is very severe and uh, odd type of disease eczema calamur skin disease eczema or any skin disease where skin looks whitish covered with flower like things this is the thing look note this 
this area of the skin is slightly whitish and uh, if you just rub some white flower like thing will come from the surface if characteristic tongue symptoms are there this characteristic tongue symptom is a very very important symptom for selection of calamine almost in any cases a calamine is infallible in this case actually in inverted skin ex now um, diseases that is obstinate skin disease use calamine and calcarea for 6x over a long time this these two should be used over a long time in 6x doses to control obstinate skin diseases please mind this calamine for skin diseases continuing for various eruptions like acne pustules pimples on face neck back where there is whitish matter calamine is infallible it is already told before for swollen skin rashes for swollen skin rashes calamine is needed after ferum fos give ferum fos then calamine on scalp of face of baby scarfy eruption it is called technically called crusta lactea this is the crusta lactea on the scalp of babies you have to use calamine along with cp calcarea fos chief remedy for burns scales blisters of all degrees use 3x powder externally mixed with water and internally that is you have to use this calamine 3x powder mixing with water or some bland oil to apply over burns scales and blisters and the same 3x or 6x may be taken should be taken internally also in that case the uh, cure would be faster in herpes singles lupus erysipelas pox eruptions all these are various types of skin affections if fever is there use with a pip if with this uh, skin symptoms sometimes fevers appear in acute phase in that case came and fp should be used alternately moreover in case of boils carbuncles phelans warts of all type use before pus formation pus formation if pus is formed then generally came is not uh, beneficial would not be too beneficial then some other medicine may come that is may come uh, uh, salt calisalf calcarea salf but not ferampos not sorry not calimur uh, those medicines calcarea or cali along with ferampos may be required in the advanced stages now the pictures this is acne on the uh, back side uh, pustules on the uh, cheek crustal lactia on people on children's scalp and erysipelas with blisters you can note this Bl blisters and it is plus combined here calamine problems of different tissues if any may exist with skin disease skin troubles calamine proves most efficacious anemia skin troubles in cuts wounds etc if there remains swelling or exudation of fluid after use of ferum fos calamine completes the care use it internally externally in burn scale to use care externally internally this is repetition Uh, mind this if something is good it is better to repeat it repeatedly so that you can uh, in your memory it is stamped permanently so i have repeated some particular symptoms in many places never mind it because if you think why it is being repeated repeatedly don't be uh, so i mean touchy about this repetition this is done sometimes intentionally to press to make the symptom positive impression on your mind from any tissue of the body if thick bloody whitish or lime like discharge comes out calamine cures the case please look at the images below Continuing calamine for problems of different tissues. The chief remedy for swelling of limb glands. Bottom left hand side image. 
an image of a child. Scopulous glands swollen, bursting out. Edema due to disease of heart, liver, kidney problem in venous and problem in venous return with this characteristic symptoms of tongue is there. That is edema means actually that accumulation of fluid in the various tissue space, ascites, it, uh, elephantitis like symptoms, but elephantitis is something else. It is some infection of uh, some parasites. Edema, these are clean fluid accumulation within the tissue space, ascites, edema, second and third. I mean, these two uh, images, uh, second images is ascites and this is edema in both the cases. Uh, characteristic tongue. If the characteristic tongue is there of calimur, that is that white coating with central furrow, with or without central furrow. Edematous surface is tough to touch. This surfaces, this surfaces. If you touch with finger, if this is very tough, which is violently, this surface which is violently looks very waxy, glistening. This is glistens. Urine on standing produces white sediment. This is urine sedimentation. Calamir for febrile symptoms. For fever owing to second stage of inflammation of any organ of the body, when swelling starts and inflammatory fluids just starts accumulating. Use along with FP, Felambos. Calamir is equally fit for gastric, enteric, rheumatic, peripheral fever if characteristic tongue symptoms is there. The same thing. Any fever with characteristic tongue, tongue symptom, you can give calamine, whatever may be the name of the uh, fever. Life case, Mr. R. Brown, aged 22 years, had been suffering from intense pain in throat, could not even open his mouth with this high fever, no respite, feeling so weak that could not even turn his side in his bed. No sleep for last two days. Marxol, Epar 30 were administered, but in vain. After a lot of attempt his, attempt, his throat was examined and there was a deep white patch extending from right to the left. I suspected diphtheria. Prescribed Calimu 6x, six, six, six dose, Ferrum for 6x, four dose for three days. With diet, soft, semi-solid, enough juices, water, rest, avoid rich food, all addictions lie on sides, never on the back to avoid swelling of secretion per chance. Report on third day or any time in case of emergency. On second evening reported, he was better by 75%. Advised to continue the same remedy for two days more. Thereafter, no communication done by the patient. Now, one particular thing I will draw your attention. Why he has been uh, asked to lie down on sides, not on the back. Mind it, when you are on the back, your uh, opening to the windpipe is automatic. That is involuntary. And in that case, the secretion coming from uh, diphtheric, era, diphtheric infection may directly go into windpipe causing very trouble in respiration and may even cause death. So when there is trouble in throat, try to instruct your patient to lie down on side, either on the left side or on the right side, so that this doesn't happen. With this, the video ends. Mm, any if you feel any trouble in this uh, while reading this video, please report in the comment section. I will certainly respond. And many thanks for listening and viewing.